Hey everybody, Mike Gillette, and I'm wondering what would you do if you knew you were about to take your last at bat? Your last at bat. How would you process that moment? How would you conduct yourself in that moment? If you were going to do something for the last time and you knew that this was the last time you were going to do that thing. And that idea has been on my mind today because I've just come back from a out of town trip to watch my high school age daughter compete for the last time with her uh, speech group. And she has kind of gone through this, this hierarchy uh, of competitions where they started at the district level and then from there they went on to state and today is something that's called all state and you have to be nominated simply to be part of that group and then uh, you're competing for particular numeric scores and uh, other recognitions as well so she's been moving through this process you know this ascendancy of uh, competitions and today was the final one there is no uh, level beyond this one so she along with everyone else in her group knew that this was it today was going to be it there was going to be no more so how does that awareness uh, influence how you conduct yourself how how do you act when you know that this is the last go around your last at bat how do you uh, note that event in your own mind as it's happening and I was looking for sort of a relatable example for myself as I was talking with her about this experience and I was remembering my very last day as a police officer and I knew that that was going to be my last day as a police officer and my life as a police officer had been uh, very formative for me in a variety of ways so I knew that this was going to be an important day regardless of what transpired and of course the interesting thing about police work is you don't force circumstances you merely contend with the circumstances that are forced upon you and as it turned out in terms of uh, incidents I responded to it was not a particularly notable day very routine stuff for that last day but I remember really being in the moment because I wanted to just take all of that day with me, which I've been able to do. And I think it was simply a result of being very attentive to something that was important. And I knew it would be important. So that sort of leaves us with how should we conduct ourselves if it's our last at bat, our last go around with whatever the thing happens to be, whatever your thing happens to be. And after giving it thought, my belief is this. I think we would all do well to conduct ourselves as though each time we did whatever the thing is that we do, we treated it as though it was our last go around, meaning that we were very present in that moment and we were very thankful for that moment to be doing the things that we do particularly if there are things that we still are going to be doing for some time the more that we can pay attention to those moments and appreciate those moments and take everything that we can from those moments will be good for us and it will be good for those moments because that means that we will be giving our best to those moments so here's to those moments